This does not even deserve a captain's log introduction. Hey guys, this is dead serious. It's been a long time since Chris lost his virginity, but it's finally happening. Chris has been getting laid by like an actual woman. And it's the person you went to prom with like all of those years ago and they reconnected into the, isn't that crazy? Here, let me pull up a picture of prom. Oh, oh, Chris went to prom with Barb, their mom. It's, it's probably just them being weird again, right? They're always weird. Was it their imagination? Did they do it in a different dimension? You know, the merge, you know? No, that's a mugshot. That's a real mugshot. Yeah, not a false alarm, guys. We've entered the, uh, incest saga. Here's a healthy breakfast option. You should fuck your mom. Here's why women never fuck you. Here's how you can fuck your mom. Which Power Ranger are you? Tim? You should fuck your mom. Obama sent the immigrants to fuck your mom. Before we get into the video, it would really help if you subscribed, liked the video, or commented, did anything really. As you can probably see, I'm a very small channel, so any interaction at all helps. Let's get into it. I would consider myself somewhat of a Christorian. I watched the Geno Samuel doc through in 2020 and rewatched it recently. I'm caught up to episode 59 right now, which is the newest one that's out before Geno Samuel went on his hiatus. I've read multiple quickie articles, you know, I've watched tons of content, Sonichu 101, 102, I've watched tons of stuff, you know, aka I'm a nerd. So when I woke up one morning to see that Chris Chan was trending on Twitter, I assumed it was something to do with the merge. And I was kind of concerned that worst case scenario, they did something drastic to quicken the merge, i.e. self-harm. Chris has in the past said some very concerning things and talked about how, you know, their father, Bob, is now in the Sonichu universe, so people have been concerned that they are going to try and kill themselves to reach Sonichu. But no, it was somehow worse. Chris admitted to having sex with their dementia-ridden mother, Barbara Chandler. They admitted it in DMs and in a call with a presumed troll. Here's part of said call. It's just fanfics that come true and shit. We're there about you and Barbara, I can't believe that. I didn't even think that, I, I knew that you guys had a good relationship, but I had, I, I didn't I have any idea that Barbara was, um, that Barbara and you had that sort of relationship. I never got any of those uh, vibes. But, um, how did you approach her? I approached her with care and caution. Mm hmm? Oh, she did? Really? She made the first move? Yeah. Oh, oh really? Wow, Barbara. <laughs> how, how did she do it, if you don't mind me asking? What was the first move? You know, they say there's no there's no stronger bond than a mother and her daughter. Sorry? We've been doing it every third night, and the first night being on June 27. No, I know Barb is a disgusting person as well, but no one deserves to be taken advantage of like that. My sister had to experience assault, and I wouldn't wish it on my biggest enemy. The worst part is, with Barb's mental state, there's a chance she forgot what happened in between. Imagine re-experiencing sexual assault every three days. It's horrifying. And if you have any doubt that Chris did this without consent, look at this leaked message to someone named Chrissy, another presumed troll. Also made another attempt at rubbing her vagina, externally at first, then slipping between the lips and rubbing the inner labias. She told me to stop. Stop. Barb told Chris to stop. And Chris didn't. Obviously did. When the news dropped, there was a lot of skepticism around, especially from Noel, the owner of the Kiwi Farms, which is where a lot of Chris information is stored and talked about. Noel thought that Chris was just trying to hide that they had a real girlfriend, since they had told Noel about them in an email, except that after the call, the emails match exactly with how Chris described romping in the hay with their mother. Now, I also have a major update to share with you, strictly confidential. This past week, up to Sunday the 27th, has been a major game changer for the positive with me. I tell you this in strictest confidence and trust. 
I do not want word of this on the Kiwi or going public. But I had sex with someone last week. Someone of this half of our universe. I worked thoroughly and compassionately with her beforehand. And at present, she's physically older than I. If heard, one may say it's something out of an anime or fanfiction. But yeah, keeping her safe as well. Also, next appointment with my doctor is on the 20th, so I'll get checked then to be safe. Condoms are being used in the intercourse. This relationship was something I have extensively given much, much deep thought and within myself. I had foreseen this among the infinite possible outcomes long ago. I no longer believe in labels that would hinder, and I do not listen to those shadows. This was of my own choice and acceptance. I have no regrets. This feels right and good with I and her. Really? How'd you meet? Well, I met her a while ago, and was not fully aware at the time. And my allied deities guided me to seek her out and make things go further with great effort. We have talked off and on during the time in person, behind a considerable camouflage she was. But she was honest in her emotions. And she wanted to be with me as well. Mutual feelings on good rapport. This relationship has been, from the start, offline and in person, I assure you. Yeah, so hindsight's really twenty twenty with that one. All of the descriptions here match exactly with what he said about Barb. Even the fact that she did accounting, which Barbara was before she retired. And rewatching the Geno Samuel docs, there's even more foreshadowing. Like Chris saying they like elderly people. This conversation proves that Chris tried to hide their misdeed at first. Which means they almost certainly knew it was very wrong. They're bragging about the massages and hitting their G-spot and being better than Robert Chu. Which, if you didn't know, is Chris's dead father who they turned into a sauna Chu after they died. A.K.A. the internet lumberjack. It's disgusting. I'm glad they've been apprehended. But I am slightly concerned that they're being held in a female prison from what I saw. I don't think... Chris will reoffend, but I'm still slightly concerned. Who knows? While Twitter was freaking out, a group called Killstream, which seemed to be a weens somewhat, were trying to get footage of Chris and trying to get an interview. And they managed to go live at the perfect time. Here's Chris Chan being arrested live on film. Yeah, they're arresting Chris Chan here at the hotel. Yeah, you, you appear to be compliant. Yeah, It's happening right now, isn't it? Right now, it is. We're living it. It's happening right now. Farewell, Chris Chan! Chris is going way off the deep end. Screaming about being CPU Blue Heart, Chris Chan Sonichu, and etc. Being their goddess. As they're being arrested. It's crazy. Chris is currently under arrest for incest, and there are other charges pending, which presumably are rape and or abuse of the elderly. Barb is, as far as we know, safe and placed in a care home. She's also been or being examined for injuries and has a rape kit that's being done. Chris is being held without bail. This may very well be the end of the Christian saga as a whole. They can get up to 10 years in prison for what they're currently charged with and could possibly get more if they get more charges piled up. And once they're in prison, that's no internet access, that's no more tweeting crazy stuff, so no more content for people to wean off of. And sadly, Barb will probably pass in the next couple of years as well, seeing as she looks like she's suffering from dementia and seems in a poor state. You may see Chris resurface after finishing their sentence, but if we do, it's probably going to be the Homeless Saga. 
that's probably going to be well after Barb has been buried. But that's the end of the video, guys. Don't expect this to be a Chris Stray channel or anything, but there might be a few more videos talking about Liquid Chris Saga, which is my personal favorite, or maybe Clyde Cash, or if this situation develops more. There will probably be a video when Chris goes to court. Do expect more videos in general, though. I have some video essays planned about basically every topic under the sun. I have a Scott Pilgrim video, a Scott the Waz video, a review of the first generation of Pokemon, and some videos about D&D and Warhammer on my tabletop channel, all coming out soon. Which, that tabletop channel is linked below. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, like it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you next time. I have a boyfriend and I see the ladies walking